As usual, I had a plan to do one thing and ended up doing, well, I ended up doing most of it. I can't complain too much. Oh, let me get out of your way there, Betty. Okay, so, um, and I bet I didn't check back there either. <laughs> Part of what I was thinking about doing was making sure that this place was safe. And that's not very safe. Also, I don't know what that was either. Uh, when, I, when I did this in the last episode, after the last episode, it didn't do this. <laughs> it only gave you the uh, VIP tracker. So I, I don't know. I guess it's going to work. So anyways, I didn't do anything with that. But I need to put something up so nobody accidentally falls off of the overpass. Don't want anybody to fall out of Sky Ranch. Alright. Now that I look at it, I think I'm going to be changing those backs, because that's awful. And this it's not going to do because... Because of this, for one thing. But I think I'll probably end up putting the... Uh, metal walls in the back there eventually. They just look better. They certainly look more secure than... The, let's let everything shine through. Who needs windows at the back? Not when you can just let the sun shine through. Now see? I'm at the edge, I'm past the edge here too, but it's letting me do some things. And I don't have one here, so I need to find that. There we go. And I need one there, and one there. So see it, let me put that there. Weird, I know. There, in the shower room. There's my bartender, tending bar. I have, whoa, that's kind of freaky. I have one person dealing with that. And I didn't stop to look to see that there were any gates there. Or railings there, so, oh well, too late. Uh, I did decide, since I got eight people, ten water. I probably should put some more beds in too, though, now that I think about it. But... I need to get more water just in case. And this is the only access you have to water in this settlement. This little corner back here. So we're going to build the industrial one. And I need a link to get the uh, power here. Okay, am I too far away? Well, let's move it forward some. And we'll try again. And it's still... I'm moving a little closer. Then it occurs to me that maybe that little thing is past the green line. So we try again. And it works. So you... This, this one, you really have to watch the settlement boundaries. You really do. Now I'm thinking this corner here is where I will build the school. I still haven't decided quite how I'm going to build it, though. So that'll be something to decide later. Now, we're going to go do some other stuff. Now, I'd watched... Uh, Actually, I'd watched two videos. One was The Wasteland Dovahkiin, and then there was one by another guy who... I don't remember if it was... Ah... Uh, man. I have to look through 
through this to see if I can remember anything. <laughs> oh, who was it I was watching? The clicking you hear is me scrolling through YouTube. Trying to see if I can find what I was watching before. Oh, uh, it wasn't Oxhorn. It may have been TLK Gaming. I've been watching some of his stuff lately. Some of his seven-year-old stuff. Or uh, no response. It may have been no response. This site's in good hands. Area secure, Chuck. And as I was watching them, I realized that the scrap house at um, Ten Pines is actually the same scrap house as this one. I didn't realize that at the time, but after watching that video, I can see that it is. So I was trying to figure out how would I want to rebuild this. Now, since I've got scrap everything, I can just scrap everything and start. But in my current playthrough, the, the new Will the Second playthrough, I am not using scrap everything, and I'm not using some settlements either. So, without having scrap everything, yeah, things like rug glitch and pole glitch and things like that actually work. So, and I saw a different way of doing the uh, Ten Pines house using the barn tiles, which I like so much better than using the scrap tiles. But I decided that we'd stop here at Bunker Hill and... Look, I'm trying to relax. Been on the road a long time. Sorry, dude. Didn't mean to interrupt you. I haven't, I don't think I've completely looted this bit down here, so we're gonna go visit that. Technical document. Oh, look. Homemade beer and a beer recipe. Well, good for us. Okay. Now, the thing is, is whatever I loot, I will just dump in the workshop here as soon as we're done. Or as soon as I leave, so... Anyway, there's not a whole lot going on down here. Now that the destruction has finished. And there's not much there. Here. Oh, gas canister. Oh, that's always useful. Oh, we still have some railroad people walking around right down here. Huh? A railroad heavy. Well, I guess I can see, sort of see the point. I mean, they're probably still using this to run synths through. Even though, yes, really they wouldn't need to. Huh? There's a trap I disarmed. Okay, I don't know why that was still hostile, but oh well. Yes. We keep going. So I found some stuff, not a lot though. And there's these four still wringing their hands like they're about to be sent back to the institute that no longer exists. I 
I did a quick look through to see if there was a, uh... <laughs> I, I turned the, uh, radio on so they can maybe relax by listening to some of, uh, Diamond City Radio. But as I was saying, I looked on the Nexus to see if anybody had made a, uh, mod to turn these people into settlers, but apparently not. Ooh, a tech lunchbox. Magnet cow. It just sounds bad. Oh, yeah, we want the hot plate. Hot plates are good things. You get circuitry, you get copper. B257. You ever heard of a B257? Heard of a B2? B-52, yeah. B-57, but not a B-257. Huh? Used oil cans are good, too. I played this earlier in the day, and then when I finished, I uh, started working on a, a Windows XP machine. <laughs> Pentium 4. I have like half a dozen 2.4 gigahertz Pentium 4 chips running around the house. I don't know why. Yeah, I go ahead and pick them up anyway. Oh look, join the railroad. Who? Find them. Somebody shooting. Made it. And now this they're time. not. Okay, what were they shooting at? I hear other people shooting. But it's just scattered shooting, and you hear scattered shooting all over the place in Boston. But as I was saying, it's a two point. Yeah, this is the building I built. You can tell because it looks so much better than all the rest of them. I long ago bought a um, Chen Ming Unique. U N E E C. What just happened? System. It's basically a shuttle XPC ripoff. Um, rest of it. There's one way down there. This is a. Yet another settlement alive. defense I get roped into. Just one day I almost shot at that, and then I checked to see what it was. Kind of confused because usually, oh, it's Stash and her two guards. I usually do better. I mean, this one looks like... This one looks like I didn't even finish it. So, I, I, don't, I don't know why that looks so bad. It's like all of its armor got blast it off or something. I don't know. It's just... I may have to sneak back to the Mechanist's Lair and try to uh, rebuild it. There's K. And there's all the people slowly making their way in. And once again, I'm looking for the uh, workshop. 
not there, it's not there. I could get some quests from there. I haven't gone and found the, uh, what was it, the hat? I think it was. I think it's the hat. You go and find somebody. You find dad or grandpa's hat. It's in the uh, old gullet sinkhole. You find it in a few other odds and ends, so. I could do that, but I didn't. Because that wasn't on my list of things to do today. And since I keep... Keep getting involved in unexpected settlement defenses. Okay, yeah, I know it's only been one so far, but trust me, it keeps going. Mm. Oh, yeah, I was going to. I'm looking for the. Uh, I, I'm looking for the uh, Vault Tech terminal, which is what actually right there by where Meg's sitting. So, <laughs> and so now we use it. And what do we got? We have two farmers, a bartender, a doctor, and two junk dealers? Ew, okay. Um, I don't think that one counts. Hey there. I fixed up most of what's here myself, so it's all guaranteed. <laughs> Unless you need to return it. Take a look. You may have to dig a little, but I got some choice stuff in there. Oh, jeez. So I'm trying to do some business. This starts up again. I'm actually just looking for antifreeze. Nobody seems to have antifreeze. I guess that's one of those things you can't buy. You have to find. Although I'd be willing to bet that uh, Jeff Goldblum will have some. What are we shooting at this time? I tried to follow the sound and it led to me to over here. So we'll just cheat and use my jetpack. Target down. Mr. Handy a lot annihilator. Wow. Okay, that was a little more excited than I needed to be. I'll have to go in probably and Turn the volume down on that. <laughs> oh, well. Wow, that was a big boom. Oh, look, there's still a Brotherhood Knight corpse here. And he will have been there for quite a while. Fortunately, I wasn't too close when that decided to go off. You know, the thing that gets me is they don't just blow up once. They will blow up frequently. <laughs> it just seems a little... a little much, you know? Anyways, I'm going to try to escape from the carnage here at Bunker Hill. But we're not going to go far. I have decided that um, since I haven't done it yet, we're going to explore the Cabot House. All right, so we're going to go this way. Yes, I'm in the right direction. And apparently Stash and her bodyguards have not moved. They're still just standing on the bridge, waiting for me to say something. But I don't say anything. I just sort of walk by, take a look, and it's like, wait a second. Wow, that's a nasty scar you got there. Okay. 
Probably don't want to actually go that way. Not yet, anyway. Let's sneak over here. Ah, there we go. And where do I want to go? I want to go here. All right, here we go. We go back in here. Oh, good. Edward made it back okay. Hi. What's up? I'm so glad he uh, is doing better. So, what have we got back here? In here, we have a bathroom. In here, we have stuff. And then we go here. And down here, we have. Kitchens. Here we have more storage. Wow, look at all these unrusted tin cans. But nothing in the ice cooler. Fridges full of preserved food. That's good. You're not clean toaster. But I'm not here to uh, steal their stuff. We got a mini nuke. And Fat Man. He's got a safe, but I'm not even going to mess with the safe right now. Even though I can, it's yellow, it's not red, it's safe. Sorry. <laughs> I don't need anything right now, thank you. The pun was not intended, really, it wasn't. Usually for me, it would be, but Zeta again. I don't know if I can take that yet. I'm thinking I have to. I mean, it's there, obviously, and I could take it, but. Okay, well that was pointless. That's supposed to be the gift from Jack. A long hallway that does very little. And a balcony overlooking where we have just been. This house is kind of senseless. Oh look, storage. More goodies. Tell you what, this will be a good house to loot eventually. And a full bathroom this time. Sort of. Ah, Bingo. this I'll take. Oh, it's Lorenzo Cabot's journal. I'm going to speed through this a little more, so pause it if you want to read it.
I guess he was never ready. If he couldn't go back in the past 400 years. Okay, I'm picking the lab coat. I'm guessing that's probably Imogene's room. Eventually, in some playthroughs, without Lorenzo, they all end up dying of old age finally. Well, sort of anyway. I mean, the mom dies. I don't know if Imogene and Jack ever succumb during your gameplay, but I'm checking and it's like, I do, in fact, have a provisioner going to Croup Manor. So let's go take a look at Croup Manor. Because I didn't think I'd done anything here, and oh, look. Oh, look. Okay, so obvious, oh, look. Obviously, I have done stuff here. I mean, we're sitting here and looking at it. A couple of big mute fruit trees. There's a turret on the pedestal. There's a wind turbine. There's a water pump. So obviously I have done some stuff here. And so I decide to try and do some other stuff. I start with this wall because I have done in other playthroughs I've used that wall to do things because as you see it it will go places where other walls won't but I wasn't sure about here besides the uh, barn is the correct size so now I'm thinking just in case this doesn't work the way I want it to Go ahead and get rid of these two little bits, which is probably why I can't glitch a wall in there. Now see, it sort of lets me put a wall in there, and I can even get it real close, but I can't get another wall to snap to it. So if you can't get it to work that way, put the two walls together in the first place and try getting both walls to go in. I know, it sounds like a crazy idea, but, um, yeah, it actually works here, so. I don't know what it is. If, it's like if you try to do it fast, it won't work, but if you ease it in slow, you can make it work. And, hey, look, now what to do with this. Now, it's the proper size. But I can't get a floor piece. I can't get a floor piece to uh, snap to the top of the walls, and I can't get it to just fit in the floor bit. I moved the chair thinking maybe that's the problem. Get rid of the bookcase just in case that was a problem. And I try from above. I try floor, I try a small floor. And I'm not having much luck. So we, uh, I try all sorts of different little floors here. I try this, because it's actually the right size, the right thickness, but it doesn't want to use that one. I even momentarily try the stack, s s shack stairwell. <laughs> So the next thought is, well, let's find a flatter one and see if we can just, uh... oh, we get, we're, it's flashing yellow, but it's not covering it very well. Oh, maybe the rug was the problem. No, nope, the rug was not the problem. 
See, I can sort of get it to go part of it. But it's so far from the edges. Now that I'm thinking about it, what I should probably do is place it farther away and see if I can put it down and then snap in um, the little quarter-sized ones. See, I got the size right. They're not half size; they're quarter size. And this is not quite lined up right, so let's see if we can fix that. I think I'm opting for this because underneath is just horrible. All right, well, nope. I, I put a nice wall up and I look at it and it's like, oh, it's too short. So let's go back to the ones we know will work. And if there was ever a place that needed windows, this was it. So we'll, uh... Okay, that one's not going in. Let's see if the other side will go in. Okay, the other side goes in, but that one won't. So let's tweak the placement again. Now can I do it? We have success. Alright, let's get the windows out. went. This one is doing weird stuff. Let's do this side. Okay, that side went fine. Now it goes. Uh, Alright, I was thinking of doing a uh, sloped roof and doing something to that, but now I see that it's just a flat roof on the rest of the house, so we're just going to uh, at that one. Here we go. Okay, it's a little above. Oh, look at this. All right, that hole is covered. That looks good. All right, this is looking pretty good. All right, so plywood. The thing is, I don't know if people will walk on the plywood or not. Although there's a lot of plywood. There was a lot of plywood already here. I have to figure out where the plywood is. There we go. So there's a nice piece. Of... Okay. So it's looking good. Yeah, we can. Uh... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess what we get to do next. Anything bigger than this? Apparently not. So it's just, uh... Wow, it's being... Notice how it's kind of sinking through the floor there. Which leads me to think that... Well, actually, people may be able to walk through it now that there's the plywoods there, but... So that's actually as thick as it looks. Oh, well. I've got more stuff I can do here, but I have to go to Abernathy Farm. So let's go to Abernathy Farm on the opposite side of the Commonwealth. Hey. I need to figure out how to get them happier. Oh, hell no! Thought I saw something. Oh, there they are. Not hiding this Something's out there. That was close. Okay, there's... Trying to make very sure I don't shoot a settler. I wish there were like 
like hunting vests or me. that I could outfit all of my settlers with, so I would obviously, it would be real obvious which ones I couldn't shoot. It's like, oh, don't shoot him. He's got a vest on. Thanks for your help, friend. I was glad to help out. I can't argue with your timing. Who knows what would have happened to us if you hadn't been here. Anyway, we appreciate the help. Okay, well, let's finish our looting. Although, these were remarkably ill-equipped raiders. They really were. It's like, repairman. Were you visiting the bar before the incident occurred? None of these people have anything worth messing with. All right, let's go back up to Sanctuary. All right. Oh, hey. Well, we know what that was. I think there's a little something going on off in the distance. I sort of hear it. Oh, wow. <laughs> These guys didn't even have a chance. <laughs> oh. It literally shredded them. Wow. It's just a limb. <laughs> okay. Well, that was nice. And everybody's still working fine there. Okay, that, maybe we should uh, pick up the pace a little bit. Yeah, there's active fighting going on over here. These ones got in a bit further, didn't they? Looks like they disabled this one. Maybe it's time to mount a couple of heavy laser turrets up on top of the armory there. Is we got stuff going on? Guess not. Not anymore. Yeah, I'm not picking up everything this time. Okay, these guys are still going, so... Out here, you gotta take things one day at a time. Okay, since I wasn't called in to defend, I don't get any thanks. Oh. Okay, let's, uh... Dismount and prepare to end the night. Okay. If you want to carry all that stuff, at least let me carry some of it for you. You know, see? He sees that I'm overburdened. He says that to me. What am I looking for? I don't know what I was even looking for. Um... He says that to me, and yet here he is, lying in bed next to Jenny. <sighs> Maybe if I just delete that bed completely. Yeah, I'll just sleep here. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. I don't know what we'll do tomorrow. We'll just play it by ear. So like, subscribe, share, comment, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.